and welcome back to my channel. Today is another decorating video. I always feel like I do the same kind of tone at the beginning of every video. Anyway, this is the best day. I have a bit of a cold, so we've cancelled going out into the outside world and instead I'm going to do a DIY project. I have been looking for so long for some extra kitchen storage. Now if you watched one of my previous videos a while ago, a few months ago, I did buy a new kitchen unit but I found it really really messy looking because there was no closed cupboard storage, it was just like shelving. So I put all my sorry, junk, just like tea towels and kitchen utensily things on it but the problem was I just felt like it looked really really messy. So I have found on Facebook Marketplace somebody was selling a second hand big like sideboard piece which basically I'm going to paint to look in keeping with the rest of my kitchen so it just kind of looks like it was meant to be there. It's really really big which I absolutely love and it's got so much cupboard space that I can put pans in and things to hide away that kitchen mess. So I'm super excited. I'm going to be using Frenchique paint and this paint I bought ages and ages ago because I'm eventually going to take off the light grey DC fix that I have on my kitchen cupboards and I'm going to paint it with this smudge Frenchique paint. So that's what I'm going to paint this unit with so that it eventually can match in with those um but yeah i've had it for ages and ages and just haven't got around to painting it because i just feel like the kitchen's gonna be just take up a few days to kind of like strip all the dc fix from it and um sand it and all that kind of stuff prep it to ready to paint and it's gonna take like two or three coats as well so i've been putting that off and off and off but let's get started by using this paint for the kitchen unit and yeah i'm so excited <laughs> See what it looks like. I'm just so excited to have so much storage. <sighs> Hi. Is anyone else excited about these kind of things? Well, if you're watching this video, I presume you're as excited as me. So stay tuned. See what we can do. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. Thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. I've been running in circles, trying to catch my breath. Everything I ever worked for vanished in the blink of an eye I've been asking every question Cause I haven't got a clue Why's it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do? Nothing left 
nothing left super super happy with how this has turned out it's given me extra storage and i've kind of blended it in to match the kitchen i have just filmed some shots it's now probably about a month later and this is how the cupboard now looks so the paint has cured it's looking good now there are a couple of little chips in it there you go we we handle these drawers a lot and um, that will happen and it's one of those things maybe i didn't prep super super well maybe i didn't i don't know i'm sure you'll tell me in the comments about how i didn't do it correctly but you know what i'm happy with how it's turned out it was quite a quick brush job i know i didn't even take off the cupboard doors or anything i just wanted to get it done and yeah set it up in the kitchen so to give me all that extra storage and stuff so yeah i'm really really happy with it i have actually in this current moment also already painted all of the kitchen cupboards to match that video will be coming at some point so look out for that but yeah French chic paint I'm super super happy with I think it's turned out beautiful and I am very happy and would recommend you do it to yours anyway if you find something from Facebook marketplace that is cheap and you just think do you know what this is so much cheaper than buying a brand new unit from Ikea which I would have loved to have done but this will see me through for now thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video <laughs> that was weird and cheesy and weird